So you're studying for the SAT Math Level 2 Subject Test. You've come to the right place. I'm Dan from WeWillTeachYouMath.com. Guys, when you're using these videos to study, make sure you pause the video at the beginning when the problem first comes on the screen and try it on your own. Most of your practice should be done this way, actively and independently. Then, if after you try the problem on your own, you still find it tricky, that's when you watch the video explanation. In fact, you can use any resources that you have available to you to try to figure it out so that the next time a similar problem comes your way, you'll be ready. Enjoy, and thanks for watching. 42, if A equals tan inverse of negative 3 fourths and A plus B equals 315, then B equals what? This one is probably best to just go straight to the calculator. You can, you can rewrite this if you want as what it would be, if it wasn't written as an inverse, you could say tan A equals negative 3 fourths. But really, if you want to find A, you want to, you want to get a number for what that angle really is, you probably would prefer it to be in its inverse format, which it's already in. So you could say A equals inverse tan of negative 3 over 4. It's just the way it's written right now. Uh, put that in your calculator to see what that is. And remember that your calculator, when you put in an inverse trig function, it can only report one answer. And typically for a given ratio, there's two places on the unit circle, two different angles for which that ratio will play out. So you have to know where the answer is going to report from. It turns out for the tangent, the tangent is negative in two places, the second quadrant and the fourth quadrant. And it's going to report to you the tangent from the fourth quadrant. That's just the default. It's programmed in the calculator that you have to know. So the angle that it gives us for A turns out to be negative 36.87. And that makes sense because that means there's some line that we could draw over here. And that's the triangle where the opposite is 3, the adjacent is 4, and the angle, the reference angle is 36.87, but it's negative because it's below the horizontal axis. So that's the A value that you would find. And then as far as finding B, you're just solving this algebra equation. You have negative 36.87 for A plus B equals 315. So you just have to add over 36.87 to the other side, and you'll get B equals 351.87 which is uh, answer choice B. Hi, thanks for watching. If anything's still confusing or you need a little extra help, drop me an email, leave a comment, or give me a call. I answer every message. And if you want to check out more videos like this, visit wewillteachyoumath.com. See you in the next video.